Reports announced by Jake Sullivan, national security advisor of the White House concerning Iranian drones in Russia's army came as a surprise for those who did not consider Iran to be a self-raised military power. Although United States announced this report in a critical time when Biden and Putin are in Middle East, and this timing certainly has a purpose. I said many times before that based on Iranian and Russian unofficial reports, Russia is already using Iranian drones in Ukraine war. Iran obviously doesn't want to make this report public because they are still hoping to reach a deal with the West over their nuclear program and for this reason they have not even publicly supported Russia's campaign in Ukraine and have asked two countries to stop fighting as soon as possible. Though they couldn't refrain from this Russian request for so many reasons which I have already discussed them in another episode. But which Iranian drones have been supplied or will be supplied to Russia? In this episode, we are going to focus on the details. There is no official report on this, but some Iranian channels connected to security organizations have already uh, published some details about this contract between Tehran and Moscow. And based on them, the first UAV that Russians are interested in is Shahed 129. Iran's most important UCAV is the Shahed 129 medium altitude long endurance drone, which resembles Israeli Hermes 450 UCAV and uses the same Austrian built Rotax piston engine as used by the US MQ-1 Predator drones. This drone can be equipped with precision guided glide bombs this Iran's predator equivalent boasts 24-hour flight endurance and a maximum range of over 1,000 miles. The next one is Arash Kamikaze drone, Arash suicide and anti-radar drone with a portable launcher with a very powerful warhead is said to have more than 4,000 kilometers of range and is able to be controlled till the last second of reaching target. No more details are disclosed about this suicide UAV which was first unveiled in 2019. The third option for Russians is Mohajer 6 which is very similar to Turkish Bayraktar TB2. Mohajer is the first line of Iranian drones dating back to almost three decades ago and was firstly used in the war with Iraq. The latest Mohajer which is Mohajer 6 has a maximum range of 124 miles and endurance of 12 hours and can fly up to 18,000 feet high above the reach of many short-range air defense systems. The Mohajer 6 incorporates composite plastic materials to save weight and can perform automated takeoffs and landings. For armament, it can carry two KM-1 glide bombs. And the last option is Shahed 136. This drone has a length of 3.5 meters, wing span of 2.5 meters, a range of almost 2,500 kilometers, its weight is nearly 200 kilograms, and the max speed for Shahed 136 is 200 kilometers per hour. It has been reported that this drone has been exported to Yemeni Houthis and that the main weapon to target Saudi Aramco facilities in 2019 was Shahed 136 which is still known as a very complicated operation as no American defense system did not operate to defy. For now, it seems that these four UAVs are the main weapons that Russia needs, but Iran has also new more powerful drones like Gaza or Futros, which I don't know if Tehran for some security reasons would supply these drones even to Russia or not. But if Russia is satisfied with these drones, they would most probably order more of them. General McKenzie of the US CENTCOM said two years ago that Iranian drones for the first time since World War II are challenging air superiority of the United States. Now that Russia, after years of selling weapons to Iran, is now purchasing from them, could this be an evidence that Iran is now a military power? You can answer that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to share your opinion with me in the comments.